And speaking of, our state's Republican Party now has eight newly endorsed candidates for statewide elected offices. But it wasn't smooth sailing for some of the nominees and delegates. Here's a recap of what happened at the NDGOP convention over the weekend. From the very beginning, it was obvious Republican delegates felt division within their party, starting right off the bat with a vote on whether or not to let District 37, which is near Dickinson, participate in the convention after some say their district delegates weren't properly submitted. But the division didn't stop there. In fact, it took a turn right before the highest endorsements were announced. Rick Becker sent a message out to delegates telling them to spoil the votes for the congressional seat that Julie Fedorchek and Alex Belaz were up for. Becker is also running for U.S. Congress, but is unable to be endorsed by Republicans after he left the party in 2022 to run as an independent. After the first vote for the seat, 382 ballots were spoiled with Becker's name written in, so a re-vote was called for. Becker then stepped up to the mic. I'd like to encourage everybody to no longer cast spoiled ballots. Uh, let's try and unify. I understand it seems that this is division, but what we have is a large segment that felt disenfranchised. Their voice has now been heard. Let's move forward. Cast your vote for either Julie or Alex or abstain. On the second vote, 599 were cast for Fedorchek, 605 for Belaz, and 13 spoiled which meant there would be no endorsement for the congressional seat, as there must be a minimum of 608 votes for an endorsement. Fedorchek then decided to withdraw her nomination, allowing Belaz to receive the endorsement. It felt like the right time to just say, listen, we accomplished what we came here to do, and, and Rick Becker spoiled the ballots intentionally. Like, we know he did that, and for him to come down and suggest that it was any other thing but that it was just not accurate. And so it was time to say, no, that's not leadership. You don't seek one of the highest offices in the state. Pretend that you're leading when you behind the scenes are creating all this ruckus and turmoil. So, you know, actions speak louder than words. That's a pattern with Rick in this in his career, in his legislative career, and I am just the opposite. Although Belaz received the endorsement, he says the primary is now what matters most. Why don't we all go back to the same page? We'll do it like respected people, like we're going to compete against each other. We know the rules. I'm going to run that way for two months up until the primary. It's going to be honest. It'll be between all of us candidates. We're going to get out there, and you, people have to decide who has the best character, who has the best platform, and who they want to vote for. At the convention, Senator Kevin Kramer was also endorsed for the U.S. Senate seat and let people know that division within the party isn't always the worst thing. And before we beat ourselves up too much for having such a big, diverse tent, at least there aren't just 200 of us like there are on the other side of this place. <laughs> I've been there. I like this problem a lot better, big family, a lot better. Diversity can be our strength when we come together. Another big announcement was Kelly Armstrong's governor endorsement and his election for his possible lieutenant governor, Michelle Strinden. He says he believes the weight of the Republican endorsement means a lot, referring to his opponent, current Lieutenant Governor Tammy Miller, who chose not to attend the convention or seek the party's endorsement. I'm here. I've been everywhere. We answer questions. We don't hide behind consultants. We're out there. We're more conservative. We have a conservative record, 12 years of doing this, both at the state Senate, state party level, and the congressional level. Current Lieutenant Governor Tammy Miller and her running mate, Josh Teagan, will face off against Representative Kelly Armstrong and his running mate, Michelle Strinden, in a debate on April 23rd. On Friday, we will hear from Rick Becker about his decision telling people to spoil the votes and his plan leading up to the primary election. We also reached out to Tammy Miller for her reaction.